into easy prey of a predator. In the video you can watch attempts of a beaded agama to catch a Cuban cockroach. But this time a catch is not as simple as it seems to be at the first sight. Cuban cockroach are large and have a solid chitinous shell. Besides, the potential victim behaves aggressively, raising the wings and making hissing sounds. After several unsuccessful attempts, the agama stops attacking. In another case, the beaded agama peacefully got along with the bee leaf insect or walking stick. They were almost identical in size, so the lizard showed no aggressions towards the insect. What is more, it was even scared by him. Leaf insect, in turn, tried to climb on the gamma from above. Most likely insectively seen, it is a branch of a tree. And now let's clarify the features of the relationship of the Imperial Scorpion and Mantis. If you have watched previous issues on these representatives of wildlife, then you know that both of them belong to insectivorous predators. The imperial scorpion is arachnids, the mantis is insects. At the same time, the mantis attacks victims that exceed it in size. Hypothetically, a mantis can turn into a dinner for a scorpion, but what will really happen? Look carefully, there are also cockroaches in the terrarium but Imperial Scorpion doesn't care about them. The Mantis is not averse to eat one of the cockroaches. Note that cockroach uses scorpion as a shelter. The Mantis considers an arachnid as a platform from which a potential victim can be attacked. It is the reason why Mantis attempts to climb on top of the scorpion. The mistake of the Mantis is that it did not take seriously the threat from the scorpion, thought behaved passively but closely watched what was happening. While observing it was possible to fix rare shots, a mantis riding a scorpion after a successful hunt for a cockroach. It seems that the mantis go too self-confident. Having eaten prey, he decides to attack the imperial scorpion. In the video you can see the fight of two predators. The mantis attack was not successful. A thick chitinous shell reliably protects the scorpion. A representative of arachnids became a winner. At some point, the scorpion managed to grab the mantis with its pincers and pull it off its back. Oof, that's all for today. If you were interested, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And also share this video with your friends, in order not to miss the new issues. Do not forget to click on the bell. Want more insects videos? Write in the comments I want. And we will surely please you with new stories from the world of wildlife. Thanks for watching and see you again on Mad Science. From Russia with love is Rossi Slubovy.